Hey there, coaches. I wanted to real quickly show you Evernote. Um, this is a very popular platform to write down all of your information, all of your contact information, and more importantly, to share different templates, different pieces of information that we have as coaches. So before I get started in showing you um, kind of the basics of Evernote, I wanted to just let you know that there are a ton of different platforms. You can use pen and paper to track your business. You can use Evernote. You can use Google Docs, Excel. But I will say Evernote's just great because we can actually just share with you different templates, different um, tables that we're using to track our business. So real quickly, I'm going to show you kind of the basics of Evernote. Obviously, once you download Evernote, you're not going to have all these files and tabs. So if this looks a little, little overwhelming, just know that when you do download Evernote, you are starting from scratch. So first things first, Evernote is this little elephant looking guy. You can go into your um, app store on your Mac. I highly recommend going to your app store, downloading it right to your dock right here. This way you can you can just click and it will pop up right here. If you do download it and you um, don't download it to your dock and you're actually just logging into an internet browser, it won't come up the same way and it's not as accessible and um, easy as it, as it would be if it was in the dock. So just make sure that if you do download Evernote that you put it right here in your dock right below so you can click on here. Now, the first thing that I want you to realize is that Evernote is basically a three ring binder, meaning it's a three ring binder, but virtually, which is great. Um, it is saved obviously through the internet, so nothing can get lost, which is great. And they have different tabs or dividers, I should say, um, within each notebook. So if you click on your notes section, obviously mine looks very, busy because I just have a lot of stuff, but this is all going to be blank for you once you download Evernote. To create a new notebook, you're just gonna go right here. You're gonna create a new notebook. So if you are a new coach, the first thing that you would want to do is a contact list. So I've just created a contact list right here, um, and it's a notebook. So once I've created that contact list, obviously there's nothing right next door because we haven't put anything in there yet. But if you go on the left-hand side, I'm going to go to my contact list. And within this contact list, I can add a new note in contact list. So you can actually add a contact list here. So I'm going to add a contact list, right? Once you press enter, that's obviously going to be the name of your list. But you can also do bullet points, you can do numbers, so you can do bullet points and numbers, but what's great about having your contact list here is you can actually create tables. So if you want the date, the name, the social media source that you found them on, and any notes, you could just do four. And um, once you enter in Frank L, you can actually just, when you push enter, it creates a new tab for you. So let's say I want to organize this a little, little bit, and it is, you know, um, the date is going to be the first column, name, social media platform, and notes, right? So the first person is going to be Sue Ellen. I don't know. I'm sorry. That goes here. Um, the, the date today is the 15th. So you're just going to do 815 Sue Ellen. Let's say you found her on Facebook. Any notes? Um, just connected today. So this is a really great place to have your contact list stored here, you guys. Um, and it's just really great to have a list and have your contacts and the people that you reach out to because we are supposed to be adding, you know, three to five new contacts a day. It just makes us a little bit easier and more organized for you. Like I said, if there's a different platform that you feel is more well suited for your business type and how you run your business, then I would highly recommend doing what works best. But just keep in mind that starting a platform and really digging into the platform is really important just to stay organized. Um, with these tables, you can move the columns, make them smaller, make them bigger. 
If you want a bigger notes section, you can do that. Um, once you have this notes section, you can create or change the font, the size, if you want it to be bold or not. Um, so these are just really great tools as well. Now here's the deal. When you sign up as a coach and you're just starting out, there's different templates. There's different things that we want to, as your upline sponsors, to send you just so you have, because this is a business where we don't want you to have to recreate the wheel. So this is where it gets really fun. Let's say I wanted to share this contact list with you so you can see the organization that I have. I'm just gonna go up here to the right hand corner and I'm gonna do share note. And then you can actually just put in someone's email. Um, let's say one of my coaches' name is Lisa. Let's say I wanna send this to Lisa. I can add a little note and it will share with her. Now when she receives that, um, she's gonna receive it right here under recent chats or she's just going to see it in, um, in, in the workspace. So it's going to show up when someone sends you over a note. Now you can share a note or you can actually share a whole notebook or you can post different links as well. So there's so many ways that you can share. For example, when you start out as a new coach, we're gonna send you different scripts so you can actually have all the scripts that we use for our challenge groups. And if I wanted to share this with you, then I would just go up to share, share note, and I could share this specific script with you. If I wanted to share all of my challenge group scripts, I have you know, five different groups, I have summer recipes, I have discussion tips in challenge groups, I have a prep week script as well. If I wanna share the whole entire notebook, not just one little subdivider of it, I'm gonna do share notebook. So this is a great way for us to share different templates with each other, kind of stay in that communication. So Evernote is just really great for sharing all of your templates. Obviously there's way more to Evernote than um, you know, I'm explaining, but this is kind of just the basics of what Evernote can do and keep you organized. Another thing that is really helpful too is we have different power hours and once you start coaching a little bit longer, you're gonna understand what a power hour is, but basically it's these small little tasks that we do every single day. And what's great about Evernote is I could actually share my whole power hour list with you and everything will just be in one spot and you'll have everything that you need. So that's basically Evernote in a nutshell, you guys. It's very, very basic. It's, you know, it can be a little confusing in the beginning, but I hope that you watch this video just to give you a, gen a general idea on how it is run and not just being overwhelmed by all the, the, the different tabs that I have because every person is different. We all like to organize ourselves in different ways, but it is really important to have a platform, go with it. And I just personally, and I probably can speak for other coaches as well, just with honor being on our team that a lot of us use Evernote because it is such a great way to share different templates. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, please, re please reach out to myself or your upline coach and we can help you out with that. Have a great day.